Dylan Langridge and Trevor Davis, young men working far from home, killed deep underground. Dylan was 33 years old, Trevor 36. With every moment, the mission to save them became more desperate. It's just unbelievable. It's devastating. So terrible. A lot of people probably don't know the miners involved, but it still doesn't matter. We still know them as members of this community. It's believed Trevor and Dylan were in a work ute behind the 30-ton drilling rig at the Dugald River mine in the state's northwest. Yesterday morning, the ground around them gave way. The rig operator scrambled to safety. He's deeply shaken but received only minor injuries. More than 30 hours on, Trevor and Dylan's ute was reached. Every mining family always has at the back of their mind uh, that these things can occur and when they occur, it is terrifying. In Parliament, the Prime Minister shared his sympathies. Our thoughts are with uh, the family of these two men, but also all the people of Curry. Mark Norwell, the CEO of parent company Parenti, says this is a devastating outcome and I want to extend my deepest sympathies and condolences to the families, friends, colleagues and loved ones of Trevor and Dylan. Teams worked through the night using advanced drone technology to map the area where the ute fell. Embedded in the rescue team were colleagues, mates of Dylan and Trevor, who worked together, lived together at this site and scrambled to find them. They now join loved ones, grieving the loss of two young men who'll never come home from work. A thorough investigation will now begin at the site to understand the circumstances behind this tragedy and what additional measures are needed to be put in place to stop anything like this from happening again. I understand that investigation will take place alongside the mining regulator. The mining company Parenti has confirmed their primary focus, along with completing a comprehensive investigation, is providing support to the families and colleagues of Trevor and Dylan.